Welcome again to learning AutoCAD 2013 tutorial number 11. Today we will see what are and how to use layers. We'll get an introduction to the different palettes and the resources we have within some of those palettes. At the same time we'll keep working on our residential project. These tutorials are being produced by EasyCAD for you and just remember to share and give a like if you enjoy. Let's start mentioning that CAD has a huge amount of resources which are not outside but within what we call palettes. When we go to the View tab, we have here the Palettes module in which we have several palettes. Most are used for specific and advanced tasks like for rendering in 3D, but we also have some like the Tool Palettes. Let's click on it and see what it has. In my case, after having clicked on this button, it pops up on my right side of the screen. Palettes can be docked, floating, or anchored. In my case, I'll leave it just as it is. As you can see, it has some tabs also, which are specific for tasks or disciplines like architectural, annotation, or mechanical. However, there are some others that you don't see. To bring it up, all the options we have, just right click down here, pointing to this area, and you'll see them all. If you click one of this, the palette will readjust so you can have the one you choose. Now let's go to the architectural one and see that inside it has several blocks we can use. Since I need a toilet for the bathroom, I'll get this one by clicking it. And immediately, I have a preview of it attached to my crosshair. You can see it in elevation here. Let's put it somewhere to show you something else about it. This is a dynamic block. And what is that? Well, to put it simple, it's a block that can change, adopting different sizes or shapes. Let's click it and see that here we have this triangle indicated we have other options. Click it and see now that we have a description of how we could have the toilet to be. For our purposes, we'll select the elongated plan and now see that it changed to the way we need it for our floor plan. Now all we have to do is relocate it to the bathroom area. Now let's use the layer properties palette. When I click it, it pops on the left of my screen the same way. And before getting into it, let's mention that layers in CAD refers to an overlay system. Just as, as if you have one object on top of the other that allows you to separate or differentiate conveniently among the different objects and elements. Basically, it's a tool to organize your work that will have access here or also you can go to the home tab and see it here additionally you can call it by typing the command layer in the command line or command prompt so let's say we have a drawing like this which encompasses the windows and the walls based on our needs we assign specific parts of the drawing to certain individual layers by default when you start a new drawing it comes with layer 0, which cannot be eliminated. To create additional layers, we go to Layer Properties Manager. We have here, as you see, layer 0. But let's create another layer. For that, we'll click on the fourth button from the left to the right here. That when we hover, you see it says New Layer. And it will create a layer name by default layer 1. As you see, it has the same properties as layer 0. Normally, you should use some type of standards for these properties, but the point is that we can modify all of these properties. First, let's rename it. If we click on top of the name in here, we'll change it to the name we want. So let's name it Windows. Now, let's modify the color. So we click on top of this small color square here, and this color window will pop up. Select now from here the color you want. In my case, I'll use yellow. Now let's stop here for a moment and let's select in our drawing all the windows. 
And while we are doing this, I would like you guys to share your opinion of the series so far. Please let me know what you think would be better and what would you like for us to release. Now, back in the Layers module, we can change the objects that are in Layer 0 and we have selected now to our new layer, Windows, by pulling the drop-down menu here and just clicking on the layer and see that it's done. Now, let's create a couple of additional layers that we'll use. Let's create one named Tours and assign it the color red. Let's do also one named Exterior Walls and use the color blue. And now let's look up here. The layer you see here is the current layer in the drawing, which means that everything we draw is assigned to that layer by default. If we want to draw in a different layer, we change it here the same way by selecting it from here, from the drop down menu, and clicking it. So that becomes the current layer. See how it changed from the layer 0 to Windows. Now, whatever you draw is going to be assigned to this layer instead to instead of uh, to layer 0. Now let's see some of the features it provides us. As you see here in the Layer Properties Manager, we have these three options, On, Freeze, and Lock. Their counterpart is Off, Tall, and Unlock. If let's say we want to print the layout without the windows, we can go to the Layer Properties Manager or to the Layers module and hide this layer clicking the option On or Freeze. As you see, all the objects disappear from the screen although they are still there in the drawing. An important detail here is that you can turn off the current layer and keep drawing on it. So the detail is that you won't be able to see the results until the layer is turned back on. So for instance, you might think that something is not right because you don't realize that all you're doing will not be seen on the screen immediately. For example, if I do a line in the layer that is off, it will be seen when the layer is back on again, as you see now. So even though the current layer is off, you will be able to draw on it. On the other hand, the option freeze would, will not allow you to do this. You cannot freeze the current layer or draw on it. And also, it's not possible to regenerate the objects in a freeze layer. Now, the option lock. When used, you see the objects in the layer will fade a little bit. You can still use the objects as a reference, use the points in the objects and so forth, but you cannot modify it. For example, if I want to erase this window here, it will not let me do it. Normally, we lock layers to avoid the risk of modifying it unintentionally. And when you hover over an object in a locked layer, you will also see the locked icon as a reminder that the layer is locked. And for the rest of the options, as you see here, you can modify the default values of every layer, whether they will plot or not, the plot color, the transparency, etc. And finally, you can alter or modify the properties of all the objects in a layer by changing the properties of the layer itself. In this case, I will change the color of the layer windows from yellow to white, and when the change is applied, it affects all of the objects in the layer. Well, friends, this is it for today. Remember, feel free to comment and give a like if you enjoy. The next video will focus on how to use the Design Center, which is a special palette, and how to modify existing blocks. Again, thanks for watching, and see you next time.